Why should businesses recruit scientists? Now let me be clear. I'm not saying that every concrete company needs to create a position for theoretical physicists or biochemists. That's dumb. But scientists can add real value to businesses as business analysts, data analysts, as general problem solvers. For businesses, scientists are useful for a couple of reasons. Firstly, scientists are expert at asking questions. And for business, having somebody that doesn't just look at what happened in the past and the data that you already got, but is good at framing questions to understand the present is key. Scientists look at the present to predict the future. And as business owner, being able to predict the future is a huge asset. Scientists are experts in learning. Most fields in modern science, especially anything to do with biotechnology, the field is growing so quickly and the techniques are changing so much that anything they learned two years ago isn't current now. That means they need to be great at learning. They also need to be great at the deep dive because every scientist needs to be able to stand up with the best in the world in their field and justify their position. Having somebody who's great at learning new things and who's great at mastering those things has real value for a business. Scientists are good at being wrong. In fact, most of what a scientist does is finding out the places they are wrong and how they can improve. In business, having staff that are not only comfortable with being wrong, but understand how important and valuable that is, is a huge asset because it's the best way to make your people better. All the scientists who spend time with me know that I recommend working in a business. Leaving science altogether, at least for a time, to work with business professionals. But why? <laughs> because business professionals are great at a lot of things that scientists aren't great at. And we need to learn them. Businesses are expert managers. Managing people is a skill that business professionals learn. It's also a skill they're judged on. If, in a business, I'm not a great manager, I'm not going to keep my job and I'm certainly not going to get promoted. That isn't the same in professional academia. So when you work for a business, you're working for somebody usually who's a demonstrated expert in managing people. Business is great at teams. Businesses need to get big things done. To get big things done, you need a team working together. For most of the scientists I know who have spent way too many years working by themselves in a lab, working with a team is an amazing experience. Working with people who are experts at building teams and moving them towards a goal together is something you need to experience in your career. If you work with businesses, you work with people who are great at working together and who are used to working together to get things done. Businesses compete for talent. All of the scientists I know spend hundreds of hours becoming the best at what they do. But the academic market doesn't need to compete for your talent. In business, talent is limited. And we make sure that when we find the best people, we keep them. So businesses, next time you see a scientific resume come across your desk, don't throw it in the bin. Call the person up and have a chat. And scientists, you need to learn to speak the language of business people and you need to be applying for these jobs. Analyst, project officer, manager. If you don't know how to do that, drop me a line and I'll give you a hand. Okay, did we get that? Awesome, I'm gonna go fishing.